Good evening everybody. Today we are celebrating the anniversary of the death of Saint Luigi Orione. So I'd just like to remind myself and you about some important moments in his life. He was born at Ponte Corone near Tortona, Piedmont, Italy on the 23rd of June 1872 and he was baptized on the, the, the day afterwards, the 24th of June. At the age of 13, he went to the house of the Franciscans at Volguera on the 1st of September, 1885. But after nine months, he returned home with severe pneumonia in June, 1896. After recovering, he was accepted at the house of the Salesians of Don Bosco and he spent three happy years with Don Bosco and his community and young men at Valdocco, Turin, starting on the 4th of, uh, 4th of October, 1886. After three years, he entered the diocesan seminary of Tortona, as he had found that it really wasn't his vocation to be a Salesian. That was on the 16th of October, 1886. While still a seminarian, he founded a youth club or oratory on the 3rd of July 1892 and on the 15th of October 1893 he opened a small college for poor boys at San Bernardino in Tortona. On the 13th of May 1895, Deacon Luigi Orione was ordained priest in the chapel of the Bishop of Tortona. Other bishops in Italy had heard about Don Orione and his college and asked that he should open similar colleges in their diocese. For example, Bishop La Fontaine in Calabria and also the Bishop of Noto, Bishop Blandini in Sicily. And he, on, in 1898, September, he opened uh, the Episcopal College or took over the Episcopal College of St. Aloysius and the agricultural settlement there. In 1899, on the 30th of July, was the clothing of the first Hermits of Divine Providence. Then he opened several agricultural settlements at Bagnorea, Ceni di Varzi, and at Rome, La Nunziatella, Balduina, and Montemario. On the 21st of March 1903, the Bishop of Tortona, Bishop Bandi, gave diocesan approval to the little work of divine providence. The original college, which started in San Bernardino, moved to another place at the Oblates in Tortona, and from then on, this house was called the Paterno. In 1905, he started a printing press in Tortona, seeing the value of printing as a media for communicating the gospel. On the 25th of March, the same year, he begins his apostolate in the Appian district of Rome, just outside the Roman walls of the city. On the 4th of January, 1908, he leads for Sicily to help victims of the earthquake in Messina and Reggio Calabria. He also sets up an orphanage at Cassano Ionio to look after the victims, some of the victims of that terrible earthquake. In, on the 8th of December 1911, he opens Villa Moffa, which later becomes the novitiate and house of studies for many years of the congregation the north of Italy. In April 1912, after being the Vicar General of the Archdiocese of Messina for three years, he returns from Sicily to Tortona. He makes his perpetual vows to Pope Pius X on the 19th of April 1912. On the 13th of December 1913, he sends the first missionaries out of Italy to Brazil. They left from Genoa, one priest, Father Dondero, one brother and two laymen, arriving in Santos, Brazil, and proceeding to Mar de España in Minas Gerais. Don Orione 
then goes to the help of victims of another earthquake on the 30th of January 1915 at Avezzano in the centre of Italy. On the 29th of June 1915, he founds the Congregation of the Little Missionary Sisters of Charity, and they started working in their first little cotolengo at Ameno in Italy. On the 29th of August 1918, at the end of the Second World War, together with the people of Tortona, he makes a solemn promise to erect a shrine there. On the 4th of August 1921, he leaves for South America for the first time. In 1921, there were four new ventures starting. First of all, at Rafat, in an agricultural colony in Palestine, a house of protection in Rio de Janeiro, parish church and college of St. Francis in Puerto Mar del Plata, and the Marcos Paz Reformatory in Buenos Aires. On the 4th of July 1922, he returns from Brazil. In 1923, the first house in Poland as Dunskowola was established, and the hermitage of Sant'Alberto di Butrio was also set up, or taken over from the, as it was a ruin before. On the 19th of March 1924, was the founding of the Little Cotolengo of Genoa. On the 30th of June, the same year, the orphanage of Akandia on the island of Rhodes for Armenian orphans was started. On the 23rd of October 1926, was the laying of the foundation stone of the Shrine of Our Lady of Safekeeping in Tortona. In, in November 1926, Don Orione suffered a life-threatening illness, but recovered. On the 15th of August 1927 was the founding of the non-seeing Sacramentine Sisters in Tortona. In January 1929, he starts the magazine Mater Dei. On the 29th of August 1931, commemorating the Council of Ephesus was the inauguration of the Shrine of Our Lady of Safekeeping in Tortona. On the 4th of November 1933, he opens the Little Cotolengo of Milan. And in the same year was the first house in the USA at Jasper, Indiana. On the 24th of September of the same year, was the beginning of his second journey to South America. On the 18th of April 1935 was the laying of the foundation stone of the little Cotolengo of Claipole, Argentina. In the same year he established in Cardiff, Wales, United Kingdom, a house to help Italian immigrants. In 1936 another house in England, UK, to help Italian immigrants. And in the same year, a house in Albania at Shijak to help Italian workers. On the 24th of August, 1937, he returns from, to Italy from South America. On the 1st of April, 1939, he suffered a serious attack of angina in Alessandria. In May, 1939, he opened Villa Santa Caterina for impoverished noble women in Genoa. In May 1939, he opened the shrine of Our Lady of Caravaggio in Fumo, Pavia. On the 28th of October 1939 was the last meeting with Pope Pius XII at Porta San Sebastiano, Rome. On the 9th of February 1940, he had a serious attack of angina receives the last sacraments and recovers. On the 6th of March 1940 was his last visit to the Shrine of Our Lady of Safekeeping and the associated works. On the 8th of March 1940 he gave his last goodnight talk at the Mother House, the Paterno. On the 9th of March 1940 he left for San Remo. On the 12th of March 1940, 
he celebrated his last Mass and sent his last telegram to the Pope and at 10.45 p.m. he suddenly returned to the Lord. So, as a very brief chronology of the life of Don Rione, we can see how many wonderful things he did together with his confreres and let us pray that we may continue to do wonderful things in his spirit today all over the world so that Don Rione may continue his mission given to him by the Holy Spirit.